shut up for a minute? We gotta get you the fuck out of Dodge, man. We're going to Vegas tonight. What are you talking about, Vegas? Vegas, baby, Vegas. Hey, welcome back, roulette enthusiasts. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are taking your vitamin C. That will be 2,000 milligrams three times a day. Hope you guys are taking your D3, which is 5,000 IU a day. What you're looking at here is a chart. And this is a chart that I worked on with the other website, which is a roulette simulator, roulette-simulator.info. It's a nice little program. You can go in there and you can test the strategy and you can work it from here. And this is the result after nine days uh, using the same level of betting. I did make some mistakes uh, and, and over bet, but regardless, they were all winning sessions. And if you go to this page and if you were to scroll down, uh, you can see the consistent wins of all of this. All right. And uh, it's a better idea. It's a snapshot. Each one of the games are listed there. And if you were to go to the sites, you'd be able to click on more and it'll show you exactly how I played, which is essentially how I'm going to be playing today. And I have been playing using the chasing the numbers uh, strategy for five lines. Um, what you see here, of course, this big jump is a direct result of this big bet that I was just practicing with, with that $242 win. Okay. And uh, I generally go for about 25 sessions uh, or 25 um, rounds. And because of that, is that's pretty standard for about an hour play at this very low level. But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing it at the 210 level. And I say that because I have to go out of town, folks. Um, I'm going to New York City. Uh, or in the area thereabouts, probably uh, Westchester County. And uh, there's a lot of mental health issues out there that people are experiencing not only physical problems from lo losing a loved one or whatever. And as a result, in my uh, FEMA training, uh, I'm being sent up there. So because of that, uh, I'm going to be playing the 210 level because um, I have enough bankroll right now. I have no idea when I'm going to be coming back. So because of that, I want to bring you a really good final video, and um, we'll take things from there. All right? I hope you guys stay well. I hope you guys um, uh, hang in there. All right? <laughs> I think this might be a little bit worse than some people think, and I'm going to be blunt and honest. We're looking right now at the Spanish flu that has been reenacted into something I believe was man-made creative, created but uh, you'll get more information, <laughs> I'm sure of that, in the future. So without me talking too much, let's go ahead and take a peek at the numbers here. Uh, it's not a matter of taking a peek, it's just a matter of getting those bets up there. And that's what concerns me, because uh, this, for some reason, has been consistently slow with getting the bets up. I've uh, tweaked on everything. Um, and what I want to do before I do anything is I want to well, it's not necessary to clear the cookies because this is a live wheel. Just to keep that in mind. But yeah, it has been slow. I don't know. My internet connection is just fine. Um, now, how do I get the other bets up? Oh, I click on this. I get the one. Uh, there's not enough time. So I'm just going to wait another round. Wait for it to pop back up. And then it's just a matter, once again, of making sure all of these lines are covered. And in doing so, if you're wondering which side to bet on, you're just uh, still looking for another number to make the determination. So it's pretty straightforward. I have fun with it. <laughs> it's kind of fun looking back at all the videos, the live ones. And although I don't like this site too much because the dealers that get on there, they're, they're Spanish of origin or some nationality like that. And as a direct result, they do funny things like clap their hands. That to me is kind of silly, but either way, we'll just turn them off. Instead, you guys get to listen to me talk. So, okay, there's the 32 and um, come on, give me a bet. 
not enough funds. Oh, it timed out again. Son of a... Okay, let me go ahead and pause it. Okay, we're back. Let's see if I can get a better ability to get those bets up on the board. Um, I'm going to wait for another one because it's already taken a little bit of time. And uh, I'm going to put you on pause and we can wait. Okay, that number was 28 or uh, 18. I'm going to put a bet right there. Cover that one. I'm going to cover the 8. I'm going to cover the 15. Oh, shit. I can't do that. Uh, and I have to cover that one. I don't like that because it's the uh, 13, 14, and 15. But uh, either way, we have five up there. Again, just covering the numbers. Let's go ahead and try to roll this out. There's the five. So we got it. Nineteen, eighteen. God, what side was I on? Oh shit! Undo. Oh fuck! There's not enough time. Maybe there is. Shit! Gosh dang it! There isn't enough time. 
Darn it. Hang on a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, number is 16. Got another winner, winner. Chicken bun at dinner. Uh, we have the 16. All those other numbers are covered with the 19. Uh, we're looking like we could get a shift here down to the low. Uh, no. Sorry. Close that out. Rebet. Oh, it's still recording. Sorry, guys. You have a lot on my mind today. A lot on my mind. Anyway, it is what it is. Twenty-six. I'll take it. Ninety-three. Try to make it to a hundred. What do you guys think? Let's see what we can do, guys. And we've got the ball rolling. Come on, numbers. Come on. Go on. Stay out of that zero. I'll take the 21. Yeah. Go, let's try to make it to 100. What do you guys think? Or 200. No, I'm going to bring this to a close really quick. It's been about over 10 minutes. Uh, I haven't rebet it yet. I'm, I'll stick at 195. I'll be happy with it. That's a nice big win. It's about $20, $24 win or something like that. Anyway, that'll be pretty good. That'll give you an idea of how much you could be generally making in about. 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes at a table with a lot of people. So that's pretty good. Kind of add things up and see. I waited and there was a losing number. So it did kind of shift on me, but that's okay. I had a feeling it would because generally there's about seven rolls that happen before a losing number. So yeah, in that situation, like Dennis was saying, I could have switched around and moved around the numbers, which makes good logical sense. Uh, but Either way, that's the way it kind of rolled and that's the way it kind of spun. I'm going to bring this to a close. I wish you guys safety. I wish you guys health. Um, take your vitamin C, of course, and your, it's the only thing you can do. Get a nutty pot. Get some hydrogen peroxide, some baking soda, and some water. Add one tablespoon hydrogen peroxide to about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Mix it up. Get a nutty pot if you're in Europe or if you have one in the United States. Cool. If you don't have one, grab a turkey baster, fill it up, put it in your nostril, tip your head to the side, let it fill up your nasal cavities, and let it drain out your other nostril. Therefore, what you're actually doing is um, hydrogen peroxide is very well known by the CDC for killing bacteria and for viruses. At this point, it's the only thing we can do, but I want to close this by saying, guys and gals, this is spreading like wildfire. We have a situation here that's very similar to the Spanish flu. Um, it's not a matter of how many are dying. It's a matter of knowing that the average person stays sick for about a month. As a direct result, they're in the hospital. If hospitals gets full, with time, could take about two, three weeks before we start seeing a serious problem expanding, mostly on the East Coast, that's when we're gonna have a majority of our casualties. Hospitals get full, nurses get busy, they get tired, they get sick, doctors the same way. They're actually uh, bringing in approximately um, 500,000 former veterans because when you're under a veteran contract after you get out, they can still call you back in 10 years. So they could be very well um, asking those medical people or demanding that they come back for assistance, engineers for assistance for building hospitals and tents and so on and so forth. And uh, in the case of New York City, I will guess it will be shut down. That's kind of a scary thought, but I believe that is very well what could be going on. 
and if it gets shut down I'm not getting back so that's why I brought you this video in conclusion so hey you guys stay safe you guys take it easy and choke the cop which is Thai that means best of luck to you and me want TD cop which means hey have a great day and I hope you guys have a better tomorrow take it easy now